hi guys uh, so in my previous video I showed you how you can write a script that can scrape off images from website um, I talked about libraries like um, requests and beautiful soup uh, in this video I would like to explore that concept a bit more and also in the process build a very interesting program so for today I want to build a program that can um, that is basically going to ask user to name a famous person uh, famous person as in anybody who has a Wikipedia page basically um, and based on that name our script is gonna go to that person's Wikipedia page and um, scrape off the birthday of that person and show it to us so I think this, this is gonna be very interesting and it will also involve a combination of different tricks that we can talk about okay so let's get started let's go to google and look for a famous person let's say stephen hawking wiki okay so if you look at here this is his birthday 8 of jan 1942 so this is the information that we want and also i would like you two guys to notice the url uh so let's go to somebody else's let's say carl sagan wiki this is gonna give us the wikipedia page of Carl Sagan uh, so I want you guys to notice the URL and if you can see uh, the URL has a certain pattern so this part of the URL remains same every time right and the only part that changes is the name uh, and the names each word of the name is separated by the symbol underscore so yeah I, I just want you guys to uh, keep that in mind uh, let's start writing the script uh, so the first method that we're gonna need uh, is a library called request so I have explained that in my previous video how request is a HTTP Python library that we need to you know um, request for information from the web the next library that we're gonna need is co library called beautiful soup and the way we do uh, import the library is say uh, we say from bs4 import beautiful soup all right okay so now what we need to do is we, we want to uh, make this customized URL right so uh, if you go back here uh, as I said before this part remains same everywhere right so we can copy this part we go back to our script and say and call it the base URL base URL right okay and the next part is of the name of course which is gonna come from the user so we have to ask the user right so we can say that famous person is equal to we are gonna basically ask the user a question we can say whose birthday would you like to see seems like a legit question uh, and okay so let's see if it's working whose body would I like to see if I say Bill Gates it should be stored in famous person if I say famous person it should give us Bill Gates of course all right let me just clear the console okay uh, so now what we need to do is uh, the entire string okay let me just show you guys again uh, famous person is giving us Bill Gates so this is the entire string but what we need to do is we need to split the string so that we have each word as you can see here uh, each word is separated by the underscore symbol so we need to split it so the way we can split it is by saying famous person that split method okay uh, this should split the name yes uh, this is giving us an array where each index con uh, con is holding each word of the name if we say uh, if we store it in a URL called famous uh, so the first index of the URL should give us bill alright and the second index will should give us gates okay awesome uh, now what we need to do is uh, we need to concatenate it right we need to concatenate it 
so that it looks like the first word of the name and then the underscore and then the second word of the name so let's call our let's call it famous person url which is the concatenation of the first word of the name which is stored in famous zero famous zero and then the underscore and then the second part of the name which is stored in famous zero sorry famous one all right let's see if it's working uh this should be the concatenation all right it's working so the final url should be the uh the final url should basically be the concatenation of the base url here and this part right which is stored in famous person url so the final url should be the concatenation of base url and then the famous person url let's see if it's working uh let's see final url yes it's working properly okay awesome so now let us go, uh, use the request library the request library has a method called get i have explained that in my previous video if you haven't watched that please do uh, so the what basically the uh, get method does is it uh, requests for all the information from the web page uh, including also the information that we will not need in our project uh, so uh, uh, what we need to do is we're going to pass the uh, final url as the parameter inside the get method and store it in a variable called source code all right awesome and then what we need to do is uh we just need the uh, html code we don't need the other things that also comes with this method so what we're gonna say is all we need is the text of the source code and then uh store it in a variable called plain text so now the plain text is gonna have the uh entire html code of the web page uh so if you go back to the wikipedia page and if we say right click view page source this is gonna give us the underlying html code of the web page if we copy it go to this editor and then paste all right so what we need is we need this information right so let us find that uh information in the code let us go to the code say ctrl f to v all right okay so we need this information and as you can see that it is stored in it is in it is inside the span tag which has a class called b day right let's keep that in mind let's go back to our script uh what we need to do is we need to put that in our soup so the way we do it is we say soup equals to beautiful the B needs to be capital and then uh, as the parameter we'll pass the plain text so now we can use the different methods that are in the soup and use it to traverse through the architecture uh, the soup has a method called find uh, and what we need to find is we want to find the span tag sorry uh, we need to find the span tag which has the class called b day right so we say uh, find the span tag which has the class called what was the class name uh, the class name is b day right okay the class name is b day let us see if it's working properly though uh, let's enter and then you soup okay right so this is giving us the uh the span this is giving us the entire line of code but all we need is just this part which basically means we may just need the string so let's say string all right so this is the string 
and if you want to store it in a variable you can say birthday I can store it here and then finally print it you can say uh, birthday and then do this and then just use birthday okay so I hope the program is working properly let's try it out okay so whose birthday would I like to see if we say Carl Sagan oh uh, so it says that Carl Sagan was born on the 9th of November of 1934 let's actually see if it's correct 9 19 november 1934 yes it's working properly so yeah uh, the program is working uh, we sh i showed you how you can use different combinations of uh, concatenation to form customized url and then use our uh, the concepts that we have learned in our previous video uh, the way we can scrape off information from the web page um, you can use the similar process you know to get different types of information according to your need uh, so guys that's all for this video please do let me know in the comments if you have if this video has helped you in any way and even if if you find it difficult to understand a process please do let me know in the comments so i can help you out with that so guys thank you for watching uh, bye